money got longer, speaker got louder, car got faster. Turned to a savage, pocket got fatter, she gon' be daddy. Smoking that gas, gone out that sand, she on the powder. What is up, guys? It's Normano here, back with another Farming Simulator 2017 video. And today, boys and girls, there's been a major accident on the highway, and we need to go down there and, you know, tow some of the vehicles, uh, no, all of the vehicles involved in the crash, and it was a pretty bad crash, so, basically, a truck and a truck was hauling a trailer with a tr John Deere tractor on it, I believe it was a 4755, but that's not relevant, anyways, the tractor, it, it, it lost control, and the, flat, the tractor, like, it went, and it, fell off and it turned around into the opposite lane of traffic nobody was injured there's an ambulance fire truck and multiple police cars on scene but we still need to go down there uh, as soon as possible clean up and because one side of the highway is completely shut down and the other side has one lane closed so we definitely need to get down there as soon as possible get this mess cleaned up because we don't want to hold up traffic because that's not good especially during the work day it's going to be rush hour soon uh, it's 12 o'clock right now so we have about a good solid two hours to clean this up which may not be enough time it may or may not be but we just have to get this um get down there get it done as soon as possible so uh yeah let's get in the video let's get this um accident uh cleared up shall we Okay, so first order of business here, we gotta figure out what we're gonna be taking. So we're gonna be taking this truck with the trailer, the flatbed trailer in the back. We're gonna be taking the rotator, and we're gonna be taking this flatbed right here. So let's open up all, let's open up this back garage door real quick. Perfect. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go around here, and I'm gonna find, make my way, oh, squish my way through there. We're gonna first grab the towing heavy haul, and we're gonna grab the truck out of the back there. Probably gonna be the first order of business here. Perfect, so let's put the strobes and everything else on here. Right, we're going to put the tri... We're going to keep the triaxle up for now. Alright, perfect, let's just squeeze our way through here. Perfect, and we're going to go forward there, back it up to the trailer. Perfect, we got that attached here. We're just going to pull forward real quick. Take a left turn out of here. And we are just going to... We're just going to park it right here for now. That's where we're going to be. Yeah, for now, we're just going to park it right here until we get everything out. Now, we're going to grab the rotator here. I'm not sure if we're going to actually be using this, but we're going to need to uh, try and see if we are going to be using this just in case. Perfect. Let's just put this right here. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to grab the flatbed, which is we're probably definitely going to be using. Alright, perfect. So what we're going to do is I'm going to be in this and then I'm going to hire two workers to follow in the, um, oh no, what I'm going to do is I'm actually, yeah, I'm going to hire two workers to follow in the, um, in the other trucks over here, the flatbed and in the, um, and in the tra trailer and truck. Yep, that's what it's called. It took me a second there. We're just going to put 25 ahead. We're going to flip this guy around here. See if we can handle this turn here. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Yeah, we got it. We got it. And we're going to leave this ahead for 20. Perfect. Now what we're going to do is we're going to actually get this truck on the back of the convoy now. That's This is kind of like our lead truck here, foreman truck. But we're going to be taking it just in case uh, we need some extra pulling power. Never know what a truck can do. Oh, no, not that. Yeah, that. Leader G, we're going to put 30 ahead here. We're going to put 35 ahead. Perfect, perfect, perfect. All right, it is time to roll out with our fleet of equipment, boys and girls. This is going to be a huge mess to clean up. All right, perfect. Let's take a left turn first. Perfect, we're going to put our hazards on here. Perfect. Everybody is following here, as you can tell. Looks pretty safe right now. Alright, perfect. We're going to focus on driving here. Alright, let's take a left here. We're going to keep that wide for the uh, other trucks, too. Oh, boy. No need to crash. Alright, let's slow it down here. Keep it as a night, as a night, at a nice, decent speed here. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Alright, we're getting this bread here, boys. Perfect. Alright, let's take this left turn here. 
Gonna shift it. Perfect. Oh boy, that guy's smashing. Alright, he made it. He made it. We're good. We're good. We made that turn. There we go. Alright, we're rolling up here to the highway area, which is right up ahead here. Perfect. Alright, we're gonna slow down now. For the turn, and we're gonna turn our right blinker on. Alright, use your brakes, buddy. Use your brakes, please. Thank you. Alright. Oh, boy. Let's take that turn. Make sure, hopefully, these guys can make it up that. That was a rough turn. Not gonna lie. Alright, let's put the left blinker on here. Oh, boy. Left blinker does some weird stuff to the screen. Alright, let's not put on the left blinker. Put our hazards back on. Perfect. That made the turn. And then the last truck made that turn. What is that truck and trailer doing? Oh, boy. He crashed it. All right. We're on scene anyways here. What we're going to do is I'm going to park him. Oh, boy. All right. I'm just going to place. All right. We're just going to keep them all right here. All right. Perfect. We're going to stop this guy. Stop this guy. We're actually going to fix up this guy first, since he looks the worst. Remove the flatbed up here. This might be a two-part video, because you know what? This is a pretty nasty crash. It's going to take a while to clean up. Probably take a while for the road to get cleaned up and everything here. Perfect. And we're going to grab the last truck, which is right here. Basically, our main truck, you know what I'm saying, this guy... It's kind of like the foreman truck. You know, the guy that sits in the truck and monitors and drinks coffee and stuff. That's basically what this guy does. Perfect. What we're going to do here is we are going to get clearance. Alright, nobody's coming from that way. Actually, what we're going to do is we're going to park on the other side over here. Okay, so, perfect. The first order of business is to get all these trucks set up. So, what we're going to do is we're just going to put this guy right over here. Perfect. Now, we're going to grab the rotator real quick. And he needs to go on the other side here. So, what we're going to do is we are going to grab the police car since they're all drinking coffee. And we're going to close the other side of the road for ourselves here. So, now, both lanes are going to be shut down of the highway. Grab this guy here, and we're going to move him. All right, so now that both now that both lanes are shut down, or both parts of the highway are shut down, we need to get everything out of the way here. So, we're basically going to keep this fire truck. This fire truck is staying on scene, just to make sure that it can everything handles well, because this is all very active gas and stuff, so... Got to be careful here, but what we're going to do first is we're going to grab this guy here. Let's back it up. And we are going to first rotate the front supports out. And we're going to add the supports on both the front and the back here. Now we're going to go out from an angle. And we're just going to get this guy ready. In position and we're gonna actually put this guy down as well here in position to turn this guy right here see if we can attach this guy there we go we have attached and we're going to attach the trailer and we're going to just spin it all right see if we can do this here Alright, we're going to turn it over here. Oh boy. Alright, this is definitely going to be tough. Because that we don't want to damage that anymore. 
I'm going to try our best to push it. No, we're not going to be able to push it. All right, what we're going to have to do is we might have to un unattach the supports. So we're going to remove the supports. And we're going to just drive it gently back. Definitely very dangerous here. Let's put this down so the wheels are actually... Yeah, so that isn't scraping the back of the trailer. All right, let's just park this in the median for now, and we're going to detach it. All right, perfect. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to find a way... to get this guy around. So we're going to push this in. Our best to attach these. Perfect. Alright, let's see if we can attach to anywhere else here. It doesn't look like we're going to be able to. Alright, so maybe we're just going to have to get... I would like to get it straight to position the flatbed, but that's not going to happen. So, uh, we're just going to leave it as so for now. Alright, so what we're going to do now is I'm going to push this boom back in. And we are going to pull back in, pull these up. Push that back down, make it straight, perfect. We're going to... Add remove. We're going to remove the supports. We're going to unrotate them. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to see if I can attach this. So we're going to go 8 and we're going to go 9. We're going to go underneath fifth wheel here. We're going to raise it up. It does look like I'm having trouble. The fifth wheel looks like it's severely damaged. So we might not be able to attach that. Let's see if we can attach using these. All right, let's see if we can go in from a better angle on this other side here. We're going to keep the rest of the road shut down still. But look at this. Cleanup efforts are underway here to get this uh, cleared up and everything. All right, let's push this down here, see if we can attach it from this angle. Definitely going to be a tough angle, though, to get it. I'm not sure if we can handle this because we have to rotate this. All right. All right, that's about as good as we're going to get it there because we don't want to attach. We don't want to hit the other side there. Yeah, so it looks like the front is also going to be messed up there. So we're not going to be able to attach to that as well. So it looks like we're going to be after taking that on a flatbed, which is perfectly okay here. Now what we're going to do is we're just, we're just going to turn it around here. We actually we might have to take the truck, and then we're gonna. I don't know. We're gonna. We're trying our best here to make this as efficient as possible, but it's pretty tough. Yeah. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna back this up. We're going to attach this to that. Then what we're going to do is we're going to go up with this and we're going to put this, this these down just in case to make it as stable as possible. Because that could be mangled there. So we're going to actually going to try and keep it down on angle as much as possible there. But that's definitely going to be tough. Yeah, that's what we want to do right there. And we're going to just make those those go like that. We're going to make them push them up. Pull in. Perfect, perfect, perfect. That is what we want. That is what we like to see there. Now what we're going to do is we're going to turn. We're going to put the we're going to put this on the left side here and we're going to see if we can make our we can make ourselves work in one lane here of the highway. 
definitely going to be really tough, but I feel like we can do it. So what we're going to do now is we're going to actually, yeah, we're going to try our best here to, yeah, we're going to open up one lane here, which is perfect right there. And we're going to take this and we're going to just push this a little forward like this, like so. And we're still going to be blocking this lane because obviously we cannot take anybody in this lane yet. Perfect. Let's grab ourselves our... And we can actually open up the left, the other side of this as well. So we're going to grab the flatbed here. Squeeze that. Oh, squeeze that in between. Squeeze that in between, I said. Nope, not going to work. That is no bueno situation right there. Alright, that's okay. We're going to just put this right here. We need to shut down one side of the road for this to work. I'm not sure what it should be. We'd actually... Alright, so what we're going to do, yeah, is I'm going to take this. We're going to shut down it. Yeah, we're going to keep that side open. We're going to keep this closed down. I'm going to take this flatbed here. We're going to spin this around as best as possible. Or we are going to spin this around, but we're just going to have to do it in multiple different turns here. Dang, look at this, guys. This was a mess. Not gonna lie, this was a straight-up mess, but we're handling it. Alright, let's spin this around here. It's gonna be tough to um, angle this properly with this John Deere right here. But we're gonna do our best. Yeah, I'm not sure if we're gonna be able to actually get this without going... Shutting down, or getting the John Deere, shutting down another lane of traffic, which means that would require. Actually looks like, yes, we got it. Alright, we got it. We're going to try our best here. Avoid the John Deere. We avoided the John Deere. We're going to keep it going. Push it up. Now what we're going to do is we're going to pull up. Perfect. That was really nice for what we had to work with there. All right, perfect. This is guy is actually, yeah. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna get this all out of the way here. We're gonna, especially this right here, and we're just gonna put this. All right, we're gonna back this trailer up real quick, and we're gonna we're gonna open up this side of the highway here, and then we're gonna completely close down the other side of the highway. Alright, now what we're going to do is we're going to put this Taurus in front of the right lane of this highway. Basically closed it, closing, yeah, base, yeah, we're going to close down the right side of this. We don't have side skirts on, or side lights on, so we're just going to have to do it kind of like this, like so. Yeah, that's still, that's still perfect. Alright, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up the other side of the highway here. First time this is going to be open in hours. Perfect. This side is now open. What we're going to do here is we're actually going to put this guy right here just to uh, warn drivers again. We're also put this guy right here. And we're actually going to put this, he, him, we're going to put him right here to make sure that they know not to go too far to the left either because we don't want that to happen because they are working on the other side here. Alright, so now that we got that figured out, what we're going to do is we're going to just roll forward here. And we're see if the tractor starts since it wasn't flipped or anything during the accident. Oh, you can hear that trying to start. Oh, 
Oh, it caught on for a second there. All right, let's give it gas. Gas, 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 gas. Oh, there we go. We got it. All right, we're going to try our best to crawl this over, even though there's significant damage to it. We're just going to back it up. Oh, I died. All right, let's try it again. All right, shut down one more time. Oh, let's go. There we go. There we go. There we go. All right, let's back it up. Let's see if we can oh, do this. All right, we're going to have yeah. to fully send it. Fully send it, boys. Oh, it died right there. It died right on the tractor. And you can tell because our parking. All right, let's start it up again. We got to start it up one more time here. This is probably the last opportunity. All right, that looks good. And it shut down again. All right, perfect. We're going to get this guy up here. And this means that the road will finally be open in one minute. Yeah, this this side of the freeway is going to be open right after we get this out of the way here. It's going to back it up. Perfect. What we're going to do here is I'm just going to go across traffic real quick. Actually, no. We're going to just keep it right there. Now what we're going to do is we're going to open up this side of the road here. Perfect. This side... Uh, left lane is open and right lane is now open as well. Perfect. Look at that, boys and girls. We have pretty much a fully functioning highway. Now all we have to do is get everything out of this area. So we're going to... First off, what we're going to do is we're actually going to put this... So we're going to turn this around and put it facing the other way. So we're going to just kind of yelp the sirens... Alright, perfect. That got people out of the way there. And we're just going to push it over here. We're just going to bring this guy back into traffic here. We might even no, we can't open up the right lane yet. That's just too dangerous. Let me grab the other car from the other side of the road here. We're actually gonna keep that over there, just you know, just for visibility purposes here. Because there is a tractor right here. Alright, perfect, boys and girls. So we got this we got this done, guys. Um do you you know what we'll do? Next episode is what we'll do is we will transfer this all back, clean up the scene, even put the cop cars back to the station for the police officers since they helped us so much. Anyways, guys, we're gonna, part two is going to be coming soon. Guys, thanks for watching. Um, hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, leave a like, really loved it. Make sure to subscribe. Thanks for watching, guys. Everyone take it easy and peace.